Hello there, my name is Shaleen Kotcher and I'm surface pattern designer and art teacher. And I'm just going to quickly show you how you can resize your patterns in Affinity Designer. There are many ways of doing it, but I'm just finding the easiest and quickest way of doing that so that you can send your work to clients and customers that have this request. So let's get started. Okay, so we're talking about resizing um, your pattern in Affinity Designer. So looking at the, the standard traditional sizing um, that, that is out there is 8 by 8 centimetres and so you usually get that in stationary fabrics and apparel, 16 by 16 centimetres you have in apparel as well and then also for wallpaper because it's, on a, it's at a, a larger scale and also, if you look at spoon flower, they recommend you use 16 by 16 centimetres because, again, it's that larger scale and then you can also condense it and bring it down if you feel that your motifs might be too large. And then 32 by 32 centimetres is in home furnishing, so for like beddings and again, that will be larger than wallpaper. So is that larger scale. So the big thing for you to find out is what your client is requesting. So if you're working with an agency, they may ask for the requirements, the sizing requirements. Um, and then also if you have a customer, I had a customer who asked me to change the sizing that was on Spoonflower. So there's, there's many ways. So, but if you have this as a standard, you can work with this and I would recommend you working at a larger scale so then if a, a client asks for a certain size, you can condense it to a smaller size which will work for raster, rusted um, patterns. Okay, so those patterns that you've hand drawn, um, it's better to work at a larger scale if you can when you're resizing. But, it tends to be okay if you're doing um, vector patterns because that can go up and down and you won't have any problems with that. Okay, so if you can go into Affinity Designer and then find, this is just to test it out, so if you find a, uh, a pattern that you want to rescale, so you can, so I'm going to show you what size it is here. So if go to document setup, and at the moment it's in inches. Okay, so I've got eight by eight by eight inches, and you can see what that is converted into centimeters. So that's twenty centimeters, twenty. 0.32 centimeters okay so there could be any size but this is just the size that I've done it in anyway so so I open a new document and so I go to file new I'm going to do it by 32 centimeters by 32 centimeters so for example a, a client's asked me for this size Okay, uh, 300 dpi, and then I create that. I've already created it. Okay, so if your elements aren't grouped together, I would group them together as one. Let me just move my face inside. Group it all together as one piece. And then I'll click onto that. I'm going to zoom out, it's all grouped together, but you have some of the elements coming outside of the frame. So I'm just going to crop it and use the crop tool. Okay. 
Okay, and then I click off that, edit, copy, and then I paste it into that square. Edit, paste. Let's wait a few moments and it should load. Okay, and then I just stretch it across the page and there. So if I want to test this to see if it's worked, I go into File, New, I'm going to do 64 centimeters by 64 centimeters. So that's doubling what I already have. So it's just disappeared. There we go. And I'll create. All right. So I then go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste into this new document now. It will take a little while to register and load. Okay, and then this image here, do edit, copy, edit, paste. Because we just want to see if it's repeating correctly. You can see it's repeated there. And then you do the same thing again. This is just to see that it has worked. Okay, so you can now see that it has repeated. And yeah, that, that's it really. So you can see that it's repeated. You're happy with that. So then you can save this file. They're 32 centimeters by 32 centimeters resizing. And I'm going to show you how you can save it in, so you can save it as a, an affinity file, but if you want to export it to a client, for example, and they're asking for a PSD file, you just go straight into export and then you click on PSD. Okay, so you can either do PSD, some clients may ask for a, um, EPS file and then the other one is a TIFF file that have, that have been requested so PSD is usually the the main one really and then you you would just export that so I'm not going to export it because I don't need to <laughs> but I'm just showing as an example okay so yeah that's it so if you have any questions any more questions about resizing then please do let me know yeah so anything about resizing please let me know if you liked this video please subscribe and and hit the like button um, and also I have some classes on Skillshare about all the fundament fundamental things that you need to learn in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, as well as Affinity Publisher. Um, that's all for surface pattern designers. And also if you're a graphic designer as well, you can pick up from that as well. So the link is in the description, but if you cannot click on it, you can click on my About page, which is on the YouTube page, and then it says Skillshare Classes. If you click on that, it will send you to all my classes. Okay, thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.